Hey, real quick, just for context, my name is Maddie and I'm hiking between July and August 2022. On my off trail life, I live out of a converted minivan and each state I go to, I go on an outdoor adventure and drink a local beer. California is state number 45 and while I'm no stranger to backpacking, the JMT is one of my biggest challenges yet. Okay, that was all. Roll the tape. I am up early at 7 a.m. hoping to get my permit for the JMT. Here we go, here we go. Happy Isles. S6 available. Let's go. Book now. Come on. I think someone else got to it before I did. That sucks. So I was just clicking around and somehow there were two permits open. Now I have 15 minutes to fill this out really quick, and I'm like, what's my address? Oh! I got it! That was nerve-wracking! Oh man, it really looked like I wasn't going to get it at first, but I did! Yay! Well, here I am. A lot of people in this situation would be like, yeah, let's go, this is so exciting. But I'm like, what am I getting myself into? Whew. All the weeks of planning and daydreaming and worrying have led to this moment. This very sign. Mount Whitney, here we come. I'm not even to Nevada Falls yet, and it is brutal. I feel like I walk for a half an hour, then I look at my watch. It's been five minutes. Look at that view! I made it to Nevada Falls, which is crazy because I stepped a lot. I took a lot of breaks on that walk, but I started at 7.30. Now it's only 9.30. This is where I was planning to eat my lunch, given it is 9.30, but I'm gonna eat anyway. I am so hungry. That was such a tough climb. And I'm really glad I started early too because I almost have the whole place to myself. I stayed for an hour and a half to eat and rest. I even dozed off a little. Now I gotta get back or I'm never gonna make it. The reason it took so short was that was 3.3 miles. For some reason I was thinking it was six, maybe four, but I was remembering wrong. So I still have six miles to get to where I wanna camp tonight. The good news is that that was a very steep section of trail and there's not, it's not going to be as bad until the golden staircase, which is towards the end. And hopefully I'll have a lot stronger legs by then. Because I am beat.
Oh, this is so hard. It does not feel any easier at all from this morning. I'm going at like oh, one mile per 45 minutes. I'm not doing too good. People, people pass me, ask me, hi, how are you? And I'm like, fine. Someone even chuckled when I said that, and I'm like, it's, it's not a joke, buddy. <laughs> the site I'm looking for is 0.7 miles away. Can I make it? We'll see. Uh, this is around the area of the campsite, but the creek's all dried up. And if the creek's dried up, I can't stay here because uh, I was really banking on having water. And the next reliable water source is four more miles. According to Gut Hooks, aka Far Out, what I walked across was like a tributary or something. There should still be a creek um, past the campsite. And there's all these flies over me. So you would think there would be water somewhere. This must be it. Hallelujah. And I know you're not supposed to trust water sources on maps but it's kind of hard to not drink water when you have some and you're showing the signs of dehydration already okay i had this solar panel on my backpack all day today so i can get energy to keep filming videos but it's already scratched up next time i'll put it up here but kind of sucks that it's not that durable there was a bit of sediment in this water but i was like oh gosh how did i not notice that stick I'm so dumb. And now there is a animal coming out of the stick. What the heck? This is disgusting. It's only 5.30, but I'm gonna go ahead and make dinner because I'm starving and I wanna go to bed right after this. Dinner is Northside's Parmesan. Just as I was about to eat the most Mosquitoes and flies came to bother me. And I just dropped my lid. So now that has dirt all over it. Here If they get bad, I'll put that back on. But for now, I just wanna eat. I'm so thankful for this. Um, if I was eating it just on a normal day in my van, I'd be like, oh, noodles again. But now I'm like, oh my gosh. It's warm and it's tasty and there's a lot of it. I looked it up and I climbed 4,000 feet today. Insane. Mm -mm -mm. Some parts are a little undercooked, but I don't care. Also, a bug flew in this while I was cooking, so, yeah, real sanitary. I took it out, of course, but still, decomposing bug juices. Well, I am in my tent. It's only 8.30. Um, it's really not that dark. I just wanted y'all to be able to see me. Anyway... Glad it's the end of the day, glad to sleep, but I'm also nervous about tomorrow. I was really hoping I'd see some beautiful views today and get really excited, but all I am is like, oh.
I don't want to get up. It's sprinkling a little bit. And I only have eight miles to go today. But I would rather just stay in bed, honestly. You know the thought that finally did it for me? Makes me want to get out of bed? Is that I have coffee. I haven't been having... There we go. I haven't been having coffee in the morning for a while now. Glad I built myself up to make it a treat for myself now that I'm on the trail. And I have the ingredients to make a camp mocha, some normal coffee. Um, I also put, what's it called, instant like um, powdered coffee creamer in it. And now I'm going to add a carnation instant breakfast. Whoa, whoa. Oh, gosh. A bug in here. I could just go on with the bug in there, but nah. Let's maintain some dignity. And things are looking up because it's cloudy right now, but the sun came out for a little bit and the sunlight was its normal white, you know, appearance instead of orange, which um, it's been because of the fires. Let's hope it's good. It smells like chocolate milk or hot chocolate. Mmm. At first, I didn't know what to think because there was a chunk of undissolved powder that I tasted first. But then it hits you. Boom. It's so good. Really rich taste. Like a porter. I also wanted to show you my strategy. My hip bone gets sore because it's kind of pointy and the pack is laying like this. So this part gets really sore. And I know like if a pack is adjusted correctly, it's supposed to not, you're supposed to not feel anything. Well, in theory, maybe, but in my experience, that's not necessarily the case. So what I do, what I did yesterday was use my pant legs to form a circle around that bony part, displacing the pressure, I guess. And they are still puffy, um, but not huge like a balloon and bruising like has happened in the past. My pack is especially heavy because I have to carry a bear canister. I put the two ends on top of bottom of the strap. Same thing over here. Crisscrossing those. Ooh. And we're all ready for the day. Five minutes from where I camped, there is this easily accessible, fast moving stream. If only I would have known, huh? Look, my first clear view. I wonder if that's Liberty Cap, Mount Broderick, and Half Dome. Oh my gosh, I feel so alive. That pointy mountain reminds me of where the Grinch lives. Or maybe I'm thinking of where Jack Skellington lives. Or maybe they both live on swirly mountains. I don't know. Cathedral Lake is where I'm camping. I don't know if you can see that sign, but the top is Cathedral Lake four miles. So this might be where I'm planning to stop for lunch. And if it is, I'm a half an hour ahead of schedule. I looked it up on 
far out, aka gut hooks, and I'm 0.1 miles away, so I'm close. I am so grateful for that app too, by the way, when they didn't have anything like that on the SHT, the Superior Hiking Trail, it was, you know, you were always kind of guessing where you were on a map. Here's the place. Not as flowing as I hoped, but it's water. So just an interesting observation. I tied this in a square knot. It actually is a square. I've never seen that before. I guess it's only when you tie it with flat strings. Biggest animal of the trail so far. I think this is a marmot. He is obviously busy eating and doesn't want to look at me, but there he is. All right, made it to my destination for the day. You can't camp from here to Lyle Canyon, which is 12 miles. I've hiked eight miles today and I don't feel up to doing a 20 mile day. So here's where we're camping. I do wanna to go to the lake. Um, it's only 0.5 miles away. It'd be nice to swim, fill up some water, but there was fender in the area. So gotta wait a little bit. But in the meantime, I can scout out a campsite. This looks like the most clear, non-vegetated, flat area I could find. But if there's a storm or even high winds, those trees would fall right on top of it. Now it's sprinkling and I have a choice. I could either set up my tent on this place right here that has a little bit of grass growing not great but you know what if it starts to rain harder or I could sit underneath this tree and my backpacks over there until the storm passes because it's only 245 it's still really early That decision was kind of decided for me because it started raining harder. And if I tried to set up my tent now, I would get extra soaked. So I'm just gonna wait it out. Also, if you're wondering, like, why are you beneath the tree? I thought you were supposed to be, you know, not by anything that can get struck by lightning. Well, I looked it up and like the least good place to be is an open meadow. They say the best place to be is around trees of differentiating height. So that's what this is. Um, so it's the best I can do right now, I think. Um, I went as far as to set up my tent, but then I felt bad because it really was all on a lot of the grass. There was no way around it. I sat there for a whole hour and a half, but now I'm like, okay, there's no campsite up here that you wouldn't be sitting on top of grass. So now I'm going to Cathedral Lakes um, to find a more open campsite. I can't wait to get set up and get on some warm clothes. Cathedral Lake. Man, it's beautiful. I think my favorite part is this back here. This wall, it just looks so strange and different and cool and fun to climb on. And I know I said I was going to set up a tent when I got here, but it's the perfect opportunity to dry everything out and soak up some sun. Thank you, sunshine. 
It was really hard finding a campsite that was a hundred feet away from the water, but I think I found one in this nice little grove of trees. I got things set up and it's raining again. I'm hunched over this thing trying to block it from the wind as much as possible. Just hoping it hurries up and boils already. It's ramen for dinner tonight and I'm gonna put a little tuna in it. It looks like brains. Oh well, smells good. <laughs> Tastes good. If you ever have a zombie themed party, you should make this. Kind of a bummer though is I brought a pillow with me. I know some people just put clothes in a stuff sack, but I think that is super uncomfortable. It's been deflating a lot lately. If you see just around the edge there, I think that's where the leak is. Yesterday I tried to fix it with duct tape. Tonight I looked in my little repair kit that came with my sleeping pad and the glue, which I've never used before I don't think, is already dried up. I'm really hoping when I go to Tulamane, no, Tuolumne, when I go to Tuolumne Meadows, then I hope they have another pillow or some glue or something. I couldn't sleep too well that night, but then when I got out of the tent, stars were beautiful.